Hello everyone! I'm sure you agree with me that Helltide is one of the most important endgames events in Diablo 4. Here players will fight overleveled enemies around the map for boosted loot drops, a special currency called Aberrant Cinders, used it to open Helltide chests that reward legendary items and Helltide only resource such as Forgotten Soul and Finrose, that are I needed for item upgrades and a fixed rerolling. Helltides in Diablo 4 spawn randomly around the world map once every 75 minutes. At the end of one Helltide there is a 75 minutes cooldown. Each Helltide event lasts for exactly one hour. Players are complaining that Helltide should be activated all the time, the same way as Blood Harvest. Please don't forget to take a note on this. Helltide is not PvP, but the event can spawn everywhere on the map. Be sure to check where are you going. If a player dies during a Helltide event, they will lose half of the cinders accumulate up to the dead point. The total amount of cinders you have can be seen next to the minimap. And finally, before opening any chest, check the name on top of it. It will be self-explanatory and tell you exactly what rewards lay inside. And now let's jump into tips and tricks. Let's check 15 tips I got it for you that I hope they can be helpful to help you maximize your time and get as many resources from Helltides. The first tip is the torture gear for Mystery's chest is not initially visible on the world map or minimap. It only becomes visible when you are close to it, making it more challenge to find. I have a video in my channel that can help you a lot about the timer and the chest location. Please take a look. So, the next tip is, each chest can only be opened once during a hell type. So time is limited for getting cinders and claiming rewards. It's important to plan ahead and prioritize which chest to open. Other tip, chests let you choose which items to farm. Each chest match a different item slot which allow players to target farm items. The next tip, there are special chests found in the Helltide areas that can be broken and that have a chance to yield a significant amount of cinders, make sure to always open those. The tip number 5, Racket Souls and Tortured Souls also have a chance to drop cinders, so make sure to click on those as well. My next tip is, engaging in normal events is highly recommended, as they spawn numerous enemies and elites that drop cinders. Players can teleport to town to empty their inventory. As long as they return to Helltide Zone through the portal, this time saving stretches preventing the inventory to be full. Tip number 8. Remember to open the chest before the end of a Helltide event. A countdown timer will indicate the remaining time, after which the event ends and the chests disappear. Make sure not to miss the opportunity to claim your rewards before times run out. Tip number 9. Dying has a penalty. Players will lose some of their gathering cinders upon dying or raising to the Helltide event area, so it's always better to spend them. Tip number 10. Helltide locations will switch, and they are only activated for about an hour each time. Another tip. Players can also get loot from monsters in Helltide. Chests are not the only way to obtain gear. Tip number 12. Finrose. The high level crafting material only show up during the Helltide events. The tip number 13. Use consumables. Consumables such as Elixirs are items that provide temporary benefits or effects that can help players survive or deal more damage. And my last two tips are Team up with other players. Team up with other players participating in Helltides and benefit from their health buffs, revives or lot sharing. And my last tip, Dutch. Look out for environmental hazard and Dutch falling meteors. And these are all the tips for Helltide. So now let's talk about special event Helltide. Let's start it with roaming boss event. During the Helltide, a special boss can spawn in various locations in the affected zone. It is marked with a boss icon on the minimap and moves around on a set pad to hunt down players. He is very tanky and has a variety of attacks that can crawl to control everybody within range. Defeating this box grants players aberrant cinders as well as a high chance for legendary items. The next event is Portal Invasion. This event can spawn instead of a local event in affected zones, 
Numerous occultists are trying to perform a ritual, and you must prevent it. Killing the occultists causes invasion portals to spawn, summoning additional demons. Once you defeat all combatants at the Helltai Commander boss spawns, defeating one of these boss grants player aberrant sinners, items and nobles. And talk about other events, various other local events marked by an orange circle, as well as the Gathering Legion Zone event can spawn in the Helltai as well. It is always worth doing this for extra rewards and aberrant cinders. And to finalize all about Helltai, I will talk about strategy. Here are some tips for having a successful outing during a Helltime event. Prepare. Make sure you are keeping track of when the last Helltime event started to know when the next one starts. Organize your activities to suit. Group up. Gathering even just one friend to help kill monsters faster can yell more aberrant sinners during an hour of farming. Seek local events. Local events have the highest yellow of aberrant sins to the enemy density and event rewards, so be on the lookout for them when traveling in the zone. Don't wait to spend. Since aberrant sins are not carry over from one Helltide event to another, you have to spend them before the event is over. And the last one, open ship gift for forgotten souls. Opening any tortured gift has a chance to drop a forgotten soul. So. If this is your goal, only open 75 cinder cost gifts to rapidly acquire them. To conclude our video, I have to say that Helltide is a great event to do with friends or solo to get high level materials such as Fin Roads and Forgetting Soul. The event only lasts for an hour, so prepare and be ready. Don't go fast and furious, as dying cuts the amount of aberrant cinders you have collected by half, play smart. Remember that Totary gives you want to open around you to target specific gear slots for possible legendaries or unique items. Don't wait until the last minute to open a Totary give, as once this event ends, all aberrant cinders are lost. I hope this helps you understand the importance of Helltide. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give your like and subscribe the channel. As always, be happy and have fun.